Once you've completed this pricing sheet, the program generates a detailed set of reports and printouts for you. Let's go to the summary sheet. This is where the costs for each stage of the job are summarised. The costs for plant, materials and labour, along with the hours to complete each stage, are all shown here. If you think any of these costs sound incorrect, click the button to be taken to that section of the pricing sheet to double check what you have entered. Anything that you set as a provisional cost or allowance in the pricing sheet will appear here in a different colour, so you can see immediately where these allowances are. The total costs, profits and overheads are at the bottom of this screen, along with a pie chart. For the plant, there is the total actual cost to you, the markup of 20% and the grand total including profit that we will be charging the client for the plant. The same with the materials and the labour. All profit percentages can be adjusted by entering in percentages or using the slider bars like this. The PC sum costs all round up to the nearest £100. This is because if it is just a PC sum, you don't want the quote to show a precise amount, as it needs to look like it is a provisional cost. So this sheet shows actual real costs for these parts of the job, plus the profit, including the rounding up. There is a summary of PC sums here, showing the difference and the profit differences. For example, the first fix electrics that we set as a PC sum in the pricing sheet, it shows the cost for this, the profit, the total, and this amount rounded up to the nearest £100. The same with the second fix electrics and any other stages of the job that we set as PC sums. Notice that it adds an amount for overheads here, based on the percentage in this box, which you can adjust. The overheads are for the running of your business and for the job, including the office equipment, stationery, telephones, office staff, vehicles, fuel, insurances, and so on. Every quotation should have a percentage included for your overheads, and if required, you can change the percentage here. You may want to change these in your master template copy to save you having to change them to your preferences each time you price up a job. This is the clear profit for the job. The totals for the whole job are here. This is the direct cost of the job to your company. The total markup is here, and the total quotation price is in this box. The VAT is calculated, but for this job, which is a new house, I'll change the VAT rate to 0%.